Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Resident Evil 7 Shadows of Rose. Alright, let's see. Hide and seek. Can you make it all the way here without getting caught? Oh, that should be fun. What do you, exactly do you mean, caught? Are you kidding me? She just goes in a circle. Probably the easiest to get past. Keep heading this way. All right, so it's just hide and seek with the dollies. Wonderful. <coughs> this isn't creepy at all. She looks like she just goes back and forth. There's one up top. I gotta use the time I have to get in between each of these. Alright, so looks like I gotta go over there next. She looks this way. And then she goes over there. Looks like I have enough time to get past. <coughs> I just have to wait till she gets to the second one. Wait a minute. She, they only look one direction, so... This should technically be safe. So this one's the next challenge. She looks down this this entire thing. She turns around. So I have to make it across while she's looking that way. All right, gotcha. So now I gotta make my way back. This is gonna be fun. <coughs> Can I just jump down? I'm gonna take that as a yes. I'm gonna wait for this this doll to look over here and then go back. Wait for it. For that one, all right. Looks like that's how they work. Guess that's an auto save.
Are you kidding me? How close do I gotta be? Can I not really can't get the axe while they're attacking that thing? So many. If they see me, I'm toast. There's gotta be something I can do. I don't have any weapons. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Hi, hi, me. And then they all go running over there, thinking it's my ass, like a bunch of stupid dolls. Alright, next area. So we gotta make them, probably gotta lure them away from certain areas. This is definitely the most interesting way to use this mechanic. And it is creepy. Alright, this entire thing is blocking their line of sight, so I should be good. So I am assuming I need to get this shit out of the way. Just have to get past them. I see. Come on, that's bullshit. I was close enough. Alright, gotta wait for them to look away. Ooh. Bullshit! They move? Great. Alright, so what I got is that that one goes the entire perimeter. All three of them go the entire perimeter. No, that one goes back and forth. Two of them follow each other in tandem. Alright. So there's two that follow each other, and one that goes back and forth. That bookshelf right there should be safe though, so... I should wait until the second one leaves. So this one looks behind there, uh, but these two should be fine to get past. Right, right here should be fine. I should go over there afterwards. Behind here. And then I should be able to get into that cubby over there. I should drop that. And they could all get aggroed. Which allows, gives me enough time to do this. 
which opens this door. Oh, it's just a... I just realized. This is just a smaller version. Oh, there's something back there. Probably like a super big doll. Well, it def desperately wants to get in. What do I do? It's not a lot of hiding spots. I probably have to. It's the big one. It's the big one. It's Mama. They should check all the hiding spots. She turns around. Probably works the same way as most. After she does one more loop, I'll go over there. I won't have enough time to go past her. God, I thought she saw me for a second. So when she goes towards the desk, I should be fine. All right, next area. Alright, one doll, guard doll over there. And one doll that goes back and forth. Hey, can I can use this? I wonder what this even does in this one. So she just goes back and forth. Is it really an instant kill? Oh. Can't even use my fucking heels. Let's see. So I use this sparingly. Does it deactivate her or does it just nullify her for a second? No idea, but I don't have any heals. Alright, well, I guess I'll suffer or self regen for a bit. Alright, so that's what it's used for, so I gotta be careful with it. Alright, this one does the whole shebang, goes around the trash can. I'll just shadow it for a second. God damn it, are you serious? Am I dead? Am I actually dead? Yeah, I'm dead this time. I didn't I thought I had more health than that. I'm lost, haha. Uh -huh. Fuck me. 
No! Come on! Shut up. Gotta get past this bitch again. Here should be good, and then we gotta wait for the next cycle. I guess technically he should. Damn, that really should be able to see me. I guess I got lucky. All right. Really sucks. Yeah, I know that bitch is right there. I guess I have to get close enough to use it. There we go. Alright, got full health at least. I mean, I shouldn't need to get rid of this one, technically. That door won't open though. Just stay behind her for a bit. Now, once she goes over there, we should be good. I think the bedroom is just over there. Oh, right, so we get another one of these. <clears throat> well, we gotta disable this first. Alright, let's see this one. I might have to run past this one as soon as it turns around. Because it snaps. Look at that one. See, it snaps. Are you fucking with me? Please do not come over here. I was really not going to deal I wasn't going to deal with that one while trying to loop around. It's going to make me hide underneath the bed, ain't it? Yep, there we go. Oh, creepy. Ooh, super creepy. <coughs> hey, yo, you're being very mean. Hey, stop being assholes. Yeah, I'm gonna pause that shit right there because I'm out of time. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please like and below the comment did it and I don't see much going on with Anyways, catch you later. Peace. I am known by many names. Mountain Slayer, Underlion, the chocolate ass. But you, you may call me Tiffany.
Is there any more markers around I can stick on my ass? 